Perpetual PMS, and um, I, I, I just can't get enough PMS. I feel like I have PMS almost every minute of my life, but I heard that men get it once a day. We only get it once a month. Is this true? I, I think that's true. And, you know, um, truth is stranger than fiction. So I, I became believe. Our Lady Perpetual PMS because I have perpetual PMS, but, I, you know, it's maybe every two weeks for me, but yeah, men. Absolutely. I've heard that. that they get it once a day and we get it once a month. They get it once a day and maybe some of them even have sympathy pains for us. Ooh, it's hard to be a man. I, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I like, think they use it against us actually. Like, oh, what is wrong with that? Or like, is it that time of the month? You know, like they, they almost like make excuses for us. But a percentile of them like ketchup on their hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm that's, not saying who, but I'm just saying some of them like ketchup on the hot dog. Oh. That's actually where my character came from. You know, I actual PMS became a wrestler because I was tired of getting the brunt of the blame for being, you know, opinionated or, you know, outspoken or actually, you know, having something to say. So PMS, hey, I'm, I'm taking the lips for, for everyone who's been blamed for having PMS. I, so PMS exacts her revenge in the ring. That's it. You know, clothesline, hair pull, and and what everything. So, well, well, let's wrestle. Let's yeah, wrestle. Yeah, let's tell them first what you're. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, because you know what you're talking about. It's G L O B glob. That's right. That's gorgeous ladies of blood wrestling. Woo! Yeah, yeah. And that blood wrestling is one word. Hell yeah. Blood wrestling. Now, one word. now, now, this is wrestling in blood. This is wrestling in fake blood to punk rock, exacting ridiculous vendettas on each other. Best and match ever when they did it with minor threat. Now, now, how big is the ring? Um, it's it's a sizable pool full of blood. Is it's it like sizable. a kiddie pool? Um, there that could be true. We could be um, grown adults wrestling in a kiddie pool full yeah. of fake blood. I now, gave away too many secrets. Is there it might be to that. Um, no, it's it's not edible. Um, although I've eaten my fair share of it, I've digested some um, purposely and inadvertently. I've taken some. I've, I spit it all over the crowd sometimes. No refunds so, for blood stains if you're in the splatter zone. Wow! Um, and you are one of the wrestlers. That's right. I am the one of the wrestlers, and I'm also the founder. Of right. The blog. So how did how did you come up with this, and how did you find so many people that are willing to wrestle with you in blood? Uh, the first, uh, I actually did amateur female jello wrestling on the Lori side okay. for years. It, it existed. It, I thought it was this fabled mythological thing that, um, that I found a flyer for it one day, and I joined that, and it turned out that I was a really good wrestler. Wow, you had no idea? No, I grew up watching wrestling in the 80s with my grandfather. Um, did you have favorite wrestlers? Oh, but who did not? But the eight, the eighties were this amazing time where everything was really narrative. You know, there would be Thank they would you. have a they would have a rivalry, and I remember one of my earliest memories is one wrestler bringing up wheeling a dumpster from the back room, from literally the janitorial area to the ring, and then disposing of another wrestler into the dumpster and wheeling it out of the arena. Now, was this? One dumped who was dumped into the dumpster was he the loser? Um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I, I was, I was really young, but I, the storytelling and the visual of it, visual, all the visual of the costumes and the props and everything they did left a huge impression on me. So much so that, um, and at a holiday, my grandfather and I and my my other cousin Alphonse would sit in front of the TV and we would watch wrestling and everyone would say, oh, just stop. You know, it's fake. It's fake. And my grandpa would say, yes, I know, it's fake. Shh, stop. So I, that's how I grew up watching wrestling and I loved it. Now, it turned out I was a good wrestler. Now, is your wrestling fake? 
Wrestling is are real. You, wrestling you, is always real. Are you a wrestler? Excuse me. She I just is, walked in. Yeah, Jason is our I That's why I went to my 15 minutes. And, and, and uh, yeah. Jason? Yeah, Jason's our oh, lady of perpetual PMS. Yes, she oh, is yeah. our lady of perpetual Amazing. PMS. A friend of mine just did a documentary called Claw. Oh, Claw. That sounds great. Cinderella Ladies of Wrestling or something like that. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. I'm going to have to yeah. look that up. I did see um, Lipstick and Dynamite, Piss and Vinegar, which was a documentary of all the famous female wrestlers, surprisingly enough, from GLOW, where we also get inspiration from. So Do you I know came Lena? Up with Do you know the wrestler Lena? Lena. I do not. Who is she WWF, maybe 1999. Lena, that Lita. bitch. It's my friend's roommate. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> she's a bitch. Wow. Love her, but so she's a bitch. So what do you wear when you wrestle? <laughs> um, well, actually, I wear a um, tiara of tampons, which I brought yes. out. Yes. Yes. Which I'd like she to does. mention is, is PMS <laughs> patent pending. She seriously does. So this is awesome. my tiara of tampons. This is my power. I do apologize. Very hairy. It's a little... It's, it's humid out. If you, if you can't tell if you're watching this at home, it's humid out. So I tend to get a little wilted this is here. Really pretty, pretty, thank actually. you. <laughs> I, I, let me model it for you. Please do. It's beautiful. It's not, this is like this is the tiara of tampons, like 10.0. I've made so many of these. I think I need to make an 11.0 soon. So you can see, see, you get the secret. It's falling apart a little back here, but it still gives good tiara. Seeing it frontally, hold on. Beautiful. <laughs> and it doesn't get knocked off or um I take it off. We're not allowed to have any props, shiv shanks, unless it's something to beat your opponent up with. You're not really allowed to have anything in the ring like this, because obviously it wouldn't last. As is, I just smushed it into a bag before I came here. It's so royal. Thank you, thank you. That was my intent. It is. It's I a crown. Say, it's a real crown. I love it. It's okay. a it's a tiara of tampons, but Lots of people just yell tampon crown when they see it. I also have a tampon stun gun, also PMS patent pending. This shoots some um, tampon bullets. You know, this is this is this is a tricked out nerf gun that shoots tampon bullets. I wish I had some, but you know, you just have to come to a show. This is how we start, finish, wow. obliterate opponents. Where do you where do you wrestle? Um, all over any place that will have us that will will pay us a little do you come something. To DC? Do we come to DC? I should. Um, sure, if you want to, you know, ship us out to DC. If you want to make travel arrangements, you know, throw in a few pints of blood. So, so you a little bit of floozy sauce. Yeah. A little bit of floozy sauce. Sure, I can come to DC. Have you done DC? No. Have you done Philly? No. I lived in both of those places. Okay. I lived in DC and Philly. I'm just asking. Oh, that's yeah. a little floozy sauce on the cleavage. Ooh. There you go. You've um, you earned it. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we just had a gig at Tammany Hall, yeah. which, which, which was a lot of fun. I thought, awesome! Yeah, yeah. Tammany Hall. yeah with, with Jurgen, and, and actually Jurgen encouraged me to be on the show, and I... Thank you, Jurgen. Yeah, Jurgen, Jurgen, Wayne, whatever, yeah. whatever his name is. Wayne, he's, Wayne. He's, 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 he's a man of many names. He is. Um, and I and I heard about Rue, and I, I'm I'm delighted to be here. So thank well, you so, so much. We're so grateful to have you because I'm really intrigued by your persona and that you are your persona. Yes, I, I am. I mean, people a lot of people just call me PMS. Um, like I said, these things are monogrammed. I'm in the process of monogramming things for myself, which mm -hmm. just those those three. Now, what happens colors. when your PMS stops? Uh, you know, I go into hiding during the day and you know work a variety of day jobs. I have a um, see, I have a really boring legal non-wrestling name. It's not so boring. It's Daniela, but you know, my legal wrestling name is Our Lady of Professional PMS. Um, and since that's really active weeks, I'm really half PMS and half Daniela at this point. So we should appreciate you two weeks out of the month. Appreciate, appreciate me all month long. No, the PMS no we shall. Down, I'm a really kick -ass wrestler. So uh, uh, what are you now? Are you in your PMS? Actually, yes, yes. For this, yes, for this show, for all intents and purposes, I'm, I'm fully PMS. And what's your favorite color? Red. All right. Uh, and black. Yeah. Red and black. Those are good. Yes. So, red. Um, what else? To add what, one thing really quickly too. Um, I also did found um, a blog with this band Trauma Team. They're amazing. They inspired me as well. We all met up at Amateur Female Jello Wrestling. 
which did other venues around the city. Now, what flavor Jello was your favorite? Cherry. Uh, it's actually non-flavored. That's the secret. It How do you cross it to professional? Regular, just plain Clear? Jello. Mm -hmm. Not cherry? Clear, and they would dye it. So that's not vegan, right? It was, actually. It was vegan Jello. It was something called super absorbent crystals. Sounds like and super absorbent Tierra. Yeah, exactly. Sounds wow. like super wow. absorbent Tampon. Yeah. It's Tampon. Yeah. Tampon. Yeah. They're so flaccid right now. The weather is like really making these things flaccid and limp. They're Sorry not, about that. They're you know? not, no, they're sticking straight up. They're That's rolling awesome. deep. Great. Woo. Must and be the super absorbent. Yeah, yeah, must be. Wow. But I was inspired by them. Um, they were actually covering fake blood and they dyed the pool, the jello pool, the clear jello pool that we had at the time. I had this vision. You know, I felt it in my ovaries. It was it was a twinkle in my eye, and I just said. I'm going to put this together, and we're going to make this, we're going to have a punk rock soundtrack, and we're going to make this. And it was perfect what because. Punk? What was the soundtrack? Um, we have we have lots of classic things to play. We do like the bags, a lot of L.A. and New York punk. Where uh, are you bags, from? germs, uh, Boston and New York City. Okay. And I, my family's from Little Italy, four generations. I lived there. on Mulberry Street for a long excellent. time. Excellent, excellent. Still love, it, still love it there. It's so been different. For three it's years, so, so different. Come, come visit us. Grand Street's been going to be dug up for another another three years. Yeah, so. now it's like Nolita. It, it was Little Italy when I lived there. It's true. It's true. It's so chic. It's it's crazy. It's chic, but I can still shop for cheap. Well, you know. well, New Yorkers know. Exactly. It's going away. It used to be out to be in America. And now exactly. it's like... My mother lived West Side Story, you know. She lived that personally. She looked just like Natalie. Tony. Totally. Only she looked more Puerto Rican than the Italian guy she dated. They, she rode around on his motorcycle. That was the year they were dating. Wow. So, yeah, it, was, it was beautiful. Wow. She never bothered to see that movie because she lived it. Okay. Well, until later, until after they broke up. Kind of like Pee Wee never saw Pee Wee's Adventure. Oh. he's in it. I know, remember you want to see it at the end? Because he's like, ah, I lived it. Yeah, but you know how it is. It's hard to watch yourself sometimes. Though. It is, it is. It is. It is. So, it yeah, when, when, the, when the documentary is made about Vlog, I'm going to see it. And it's going to take me a long time to, oh, God, you know. I love it. My gut was hanging out, you know, my... I know, you've got to My Pensies was raging that day. It's going to be hard to watch myself. But I will, when I, I'll probably watch it when I retire. When I retire, I'm going to become the menopausal manager. That's what so I would say. Brilliant! As a manager. Brilliant. See, but when you're in the midst, you have PMS and menopause at the same time. Trust me. I used to I tell think, my kids all the time, <laughs> wait a minute. I got both. <laughs> exactly. I don't know which one's acting up today. Just, like, stay away. And somehow I guess that. And I think it'll be a good transition, you know. Are they oh, there's no transition. PMS? It's perpetual. <laughs> Yeah. Perpetual is the key word here. Yeah. I kind of don't want to retire. You know, the fabulous Mula was jumping off the turnbuckle, I think, well into her 70s or 80s. So I thought, oh, you know, wait, maybe when I hit menopause, I'll be the menopausal manager and I'll get in the ring and I'll still kick some ass because I'll be so oh, absolutely. I'll be like, no one's a better wrestler than me. I'm the best wrestler in St. Bernadette's. So do you remember the first time you got your uh, period? The first time I had my period? Yeah. Yes, yes. It was at Catholic school, yes, I remember. Yes. Were you yes. Local, right? Were you prepared? Um, yes and no. I think as a teenager, you're never, as a very young teenager, you're never um, really prepared for like this deluge of insanity. Um, at that the time, so but I think, true. you know, something like that, it was, it's biblical, you get it at Catholic school, right? I it's guess. It's apocalyptic in a way, but a, a, but a uh, normal and welcoming transition into womanhood. So, <laughs> welcoming. Well, welcome. Well, well, welcome to. Welcome. Enjoy. Welcome to 40 the years river of runs hell. Out. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. 40 years Green. of blood. And then the and Slayer plays in the background, like elevator music. I will fully support Slayer. Yes. Yeah, you would. Oh, yeah. Because you're into that Christian music, right? <laughs> that Christian Slayer music? Yes, man. Isn't Slayer the Christian? Hell Slayer? fucking no. Not Slayer. Oh, no. Hell no. fucking no. Slayer to hell with the devil. Yes. 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 And yes. they dress like giant bees. With yeah. <laughs> I always think so. Thank you for explaining. Well. How do you think Slayer and Striper? And Striper. But, no, but, 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 wait, how many letters is Slayer? S-L-A-Y-E-R. How many letters is Striper? S-T-Y-R. Yeah. How do you spell Striper? In that 
same way. They both start with S. They both have the same amount of life. Singer from Slayer actually is Catholic. There you go. Same yeah. shit. <laughs> I used to work at Strawberries Records tapes and uh, Strawberries really? Records and tapes. I did. And we used to sell the Striper songbook. And oh it was yeah. Called to Hell with the Devil. They used to pelt the audience with Bibles. And we had an employee reserve bin where we used to be able to put things on hold for each other. So I forged my manager's writing. Oh, wait, wait. And I wrote, please, please hold the Striper songbook for me. I just have to wait to pay it. I've been dying to get this. That was my Love first, that was one of my first actual concerts. All, you know, was really? the Striper. Wow. You know, we always ask for a skeleton. We asked for a skeleton from your closet, and um, it is National Corn Fritter Day. So here's a caramel corn fritter. Ooh. And um, um, that could have been it. You, you stole your... What you, you took your boss's money? Did you say? No, no. Did I, she, I, I, what? she forged her forged, manager's I forged her signature <laughs> in a note saying that he wanted to sure. buy the Striper songbook on the next payday. <laughs> right. Wow. And he was like, and I would do that. I would forge the signatures of all my fellow employees and just put the lamest shit in the old bin. Yeah. Wow. Like, the die, like the diehard wow. metalhead has to have the Spice Girls documentary. Exactly. <laughs> Get it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Get it. <laughs> like, I need Spice Girls. I we love all Spice, need Spice Girls. Girls. They're awesome. Spice up your life. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. Spice up your life with a little tiara of tampon and a little fake blood. You know, I'm, I'm like a subversive Martha Stewart. Any song that she's says pretty, Spice up she's your life. She's pretty badass. She's amazing. She's pretty she's, badass. She's definitely a witch. No, she's a witch that's conjured a lot of uh, fortune. Yes. And amazing, you know, and crafts for herself. She's from Massachusetts, too. You're from Massachusetts, too? Yeah, it goes like that. That's how the shows go, you know. I'd like to say, you know, there's no word for being from two cities. It's bi-coastal, but what is it? When, when you're from Boston and New York, what is that? Uh, patriotism. Is patriotism? Yeah, sure. <laughs> my, my mom's from Little Italy and my dad's from Boston, so. What is, what, what is what is, you know, there's bi-coastal, right? It makes sense, right? Yeah. East coast, west coast. Yeah. Dual cities. I don't I know. I'll agree with that. Dual, dual cities. I'll vote for dual city. Dual, dual cities. Dual city sunshine. So, so, so did you visit Salem, Mass? Um, I did. I went to a wedding there once a few years ago, and I visited as a kid. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. And yes. it has a hot bed. Of so I would tell you. So. Let me I tell you. They harness all that mental power. So. Yeah. I hope there's a lot of They really did. He doesn't believe in witches. You know, there were no, 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 no. I don't believe in the Salem witches. Oh. I think people got pigeonholed. They, my mother used to always say that we would have been burned at the stake. I will say this. A guy that I grew up with, his grandmother had a Ouija board. It was the most terrifying thing I ever saw. It always was true? It was wood, and it was bur the letters were burnt, and it was from Salem from nice. like the late 1800s. So it was one of those Parker Brothers. It was definitely not a Parker boards. Brothers. You could not lie to Toys R Us. Wow. But I think it's from the inside out that makes you the witch anyway. It really, it really is. It, it really is. And I think a so lot of... Do you know your blood type? Oh, gosh. I, I do. It's, it's written down somewhere. Wow. That's such a good question. Wow. Be positive. Is that you? That's such a funny name, be positive. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my attitude as well. Yeah, exactly. I'm A positive. There you go. I have to look again, you know? Yeah, I my one daughter is A positive and my other one is O negative. O wow. negative is the wild oh, one. It's the wild oh, card? Yeah. the wild one. I want to say I'm O something, but, you know, I don't want to... So, you don't want to change your blood? Yeah, you don't know. Wow, this is, you know, I wish there was a PMS in there somewhere. So besides but wearing that you. fabulous tiara that I love so much, you do a lot of other things, like you organize shows and you do so many numerous things. Anything like tonight. to avoid having... <laughs> I'm a hustler, baby. I want to be home. your assistant. I need to make some in my life. A fun night. We are. Right? We're, we're doing a fun night here, and I'm really excited about that. I usually do the first Wednesday of the month, and that night's called Alpha Women Attack the East Village, and that's facebook.com slash alpha women attack. Um, but Autos had some free nights available this summer, and, you know, hey, I'm a working class stiff. I'm a working class punk. You know, I stayed in the city and try to make my bread and butter here, so I decided... Staycation. Staycation's all I ever wanted. Woo! Yeah, you know what? Not 
really, but as long as I'm here, I'm gonna make the best of it. And I love this place. They're Me they're very too. sweet. I you love know. autos. We all love it so much. And um, you know, I have this. I need to have a lot of visual stimulation. And when I look at their window, I like to count the seashells, and I the like little to, girls, the little hula girls. I love it. Favorite. I love it. So I'll be behind the booth, um, doing double duty. Actually, no pun intended. He said duty. I said duty. I'll be DJing and I'll be back here supporting you guys too. I'm yeah. going to be playing tonight. Is yes, that I am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, mean, I just met you. I, I, I've been dying to check out the show and I get to be on the show and check out your band all yeah. on the same night. Wow. <laughs> that was the cramps. That's my favorite one. That was the that cramps. Was, that, was, that was a well. It should be more of like a. No, that's, that sounded a little frat boy. That one sounded like running a team. Do you have one that's sort of like a woo? Uh, do we have one? That's after yeah, the that's that after one. the mitol. Uh, uh, <laughs> and the wine. That was true. <laughs> the one that I like. I know. We should have a cha-ching. You did the cha-ching, but I want to have a positive one that I get to check out your band and be on your show That's all the same day. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, That's pretty good. Do you have anything else in your bag of tricks? Or um, is it really good? Let's see. I have, um, I'll show you one quick thing that I actually do when I'm... When I'm not doing these illustrious events that I make, you know, tens of dollars at. Um, I do make some artwork. Ooh. And I think I brought some, but it might be Ooh, my little little sensory. Yeah. Um, let me see. Yeah. Hold on one second. One quick second. Well, I'm going to say thank you today's show to everyone while you are digging through your woman's bag. I have to thank Jason Hamaker, not Schlemmer, for coming up all the way from thank DC, you. being our wonderful who is this. Drama day of Brew and Who. Thanks for having to, me. I have to thank John Paul, George, and Ringo for dropping by. The Reek Experience, Hand Job Academy, Jesse Mosher, Cosmic Ray, and Our Lady of Perpetual PMS. And I have to give my biggest thanks to Caroline Stewart, who has been my right hand, left hand, back, front, side, you name it, helper, assistant, director of the show. She actually has to take a leave of absence from our show, and I'm crying inside, but I wish her only the best, and we will miss her immensely, and we will need her to visit us often. So any volunteers out there that want to join our Ruin Who family, we could use you. And I can never thank you enough. We are taking next week off. Yes? for a fun-filled show. And, and after party. And there's an after party today. Yeah. Yeah, tonight. So and the 30th. Stick around. And the 30th. Yes, it's the Bloody Mops Bash. That's right. I'm singing that song for yes. the Bloody Mops. Yes. But, um, yeah. yeah. Are you singing one? Tra transitioning oh, one blood event into the other. I love it. Transitioning one bloody event into another. I, I have to say I love the Bloody Mops as well. Um... So I do it somewhere, probably not on a stage, probably one of those little bags. I do have a little piece of artwork I made. But let me tell you this. The things that are actually physically concrete that I can make money at, like any good artist, they're not, they're, like any good artist, I'm bad at marketing myself, so it's not readily available. But I will say, next, I would love to come back. Oh, please do. And I'll bring, I'll bring a few little... Um, tchotchkes? Yeah, little tchotchkes. Nice. Exactly. So, so what is the website these. you want people to stalk you at the most? Um, you can stalk me on my Glob Blood Wrestling website. Again, that's Gorgeous Ladies of Blood Wrestling. Blood Wrestling being one word. That's Facebook.com slash Blood Wrestling. You can also stalk my monthly night here, which is Facebook.com slash Alpha Women Attack. These, these lovely, expensive, really hard worked on websites, you know, courtesy of Facebook.com. Thank you, Facebook. Thank yes. You Facebook. Thank you, Our Lady Thank of Vienna. So much, Perpetual. Thank you. All right. We will see you in two weeks. Thank you so much. Love you, Caroline.
Cause I'd be gone 